Okay, so um, this is a test. I don't need this penny, but this is a test of making an aluminum carbon battery. Uh, I've got some graphite carbon here, um, cotton cloth, and uh, and aluminum foil. So here's the cotton cloth and aluminum foil. And this is water mixed with lemon juice. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it and see. Okay, got that soaked. Don't want it too soaked, but just enough. Okay. I'm going to put it on the aluminum foil, like so. I'm um, going to see, can you see that? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's try putting the graphite here. And I might as well just put all this all this on just for for whatever. Okay. Just don't want any shorts. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this wire, put it down on here, and then I'm gonna make like a sandwich. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to fold this. Well, no, I'll just leave it like that. Make a sandwich like that. Uh, would help to put the wire in there first, though. Okay. That, and then need a little bit of weight. So, I guess I'll use. This plate for weight. It's ceramic, so it's not going to conduct. And then I'll take this other wire, put it on top of the aluminum foil, like so. Okay, so now it's pressing against the aluminum foil. And the other one's pressing against the carbon, hopefully. And we'll see if we get any voltage on the multimeter here. Okay. I'm not an electrician, so <laughs> you're gonna have to bear with me. Uh, see, the aluminum's on this, and so maybe the aluminum's negative. Let's try that. We are getting a voltage of uh, about half a volt it looks like so uh, it's pretty good let's see I'll be able to see it better no oh, it's like that okay and I'll we'll put this there's some paper just so I know I'm not shorting it out Okay. Yeah, about half a volt DC current looks like. Um, okay, let me try it with the alligator clips, and I'm gonna pause it here. Okay, so I didn't want to mess with pressing the plate down anymore. So basically, I just took the wire and kind of wedged it into the side and folded it over on the aluminum. And it's still producing about point about half a volt. There's the multimeter. Let's see if we can read that. And I should be able to run this in series to uh, to get more voltage. 
milliamps wise I'm not exactly sure how many milliamps it's putting out uh, but I'm gonna try to get the voltage up and then um, see yeah, actually it's even getting a little bit more than uh, half a volt like maybe 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts so uh, anyway it should retain its current for a very very long time hours um, it works with the oxidation of the uh, aluminum it, it, these types of batteries will stop working once the aluminum uh, oxidizes but what lemon juice does which is what the Lord showed me is that uh, prevents the oxidation from happening so it should just maintain that current for a really long time until maybe the citric acid breaks down or something I don't know how long that takes but anyway it should prolong the life of these types of batteries by at least two to three times so um, next I'll try to uh, get s some milliamp readings okay so I've switched this multimeter to the uh, milliamp and you can see it's getting about two milliamps but if I press down on it it goes up so if you have it under a little bit of pressure it will go up it's five milliamps six milliamps seven milliamps under pressure so I guess if you could uh, put a lot of weight on this like a you know like maybe I don't know a brick or something or a stack of these you put a brick on top of it and if each one of these little things this size gets let's say seven milliamps then uh, you can uh, you know upsize this make it a lot bigger and get more milliamps maybe even uh, you know a hundred hundred and fifty two hundred milliamps out of this type of design and uh, like I said as long as it uh, as long as the aluminum is prevented from oxidizing it should maintain the current for a very long time um, so anyway there it is and uh, you can take it and use it and this is one way that uh, it would be good for running LEDs or uh, to provide light or if it's scaled up uh, you can do whatever you want with it and it looks like it stays going for quite a while um, and uh, I know that the regular one with regular water will last uh, three to four hours but with the lemon juice mixed in it should prolong it to six maybe eight hours or longer I'm not exactly sure see more pressure seven that off the pressure goes down to probably around four three just needs some weight on it that's all so Glory to God, and hopefully this helps people when the electricity goes out. Blessings.